Uh, welcome back. Um, be awesome. Uh, just quickly before we get started, if we could, uh, if I could just ask if we can start to uh, to like and subscribe to videos. Um, it does really help. I am trying to make something of the channel, and certainly leaving a like on a video um, really does help. It really helps the algorithm. So uh, that being said, thank you very much for for watching anyway. Um, this is the second part of the the lab series uh, which I'm hoping to kind of extend and, and go further forward so we can start solving some of the more complicated problems rather than just concentrating on the sort of the, the mundane administ uh, administrative type of things. Um, so last last lab session was URL filtering where we showed sort of creating a, a um, custom URL category adding that into the URL filtering and how the actions on that work. So uh, one of the big things that uh, buzz, buzzwords, I suppose you could say, or I mean, it's, the, the reality is that you need it is decryption. So SSL decryption, uh, the vast majority, going on for eighty percent or ninety percent of, of internet traffic these days is encrypted. Um, and whilst Palo Alto Firewall can make um, very very accurate guesses on what that traffic is, anything that's encrypted obviously is going to be difficult for it to to understand. Um, exactly what's what's coming down through it because it can't see all the traffic. It's it's just seeing the the encrypted traffic. So decryption is one of those things that um, companies tend to switch on and then switch it off almost straight away because it breaks everything. Hopefully you can ease into this. Uh, we're going to use my site, mymode44.co.uk, um, and then how that looks within the the URL filtering, and then hopefully we're going to start looking. Uh, a lot deeper into decryption and how to make it work and how to ease it into any organization you're in um, so so it, it can come in without being binned because it's 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 destructive okay so just uh, for the first instance what we'll do is we'll just go quickly to my website which is UK Okay, I'm going to accept all the cookies and so on. Um, well worth a visit if, if you ever feel that way out and also for consultation purposes. Um, so we can see here now that everything is fine with the certificate um, and I have the certificate which of course is, is public anyway, public knowledge. Um, and then it's, its common name is modeforward.co.uk and who it is, um, who it has been, been uh, provided by. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, we're going to just create a URL category specifically for sites that we want to decrypt and then we're going to add that to a decryption policy and then we're going to see how that affects the uh, the site that we're going to as well as how we make sure that um, that doesn't affect any of our URL filtering and and, um, and any other actions. Okay, so coming over to the center monitor now, so we're going to have a look at the firewall itself. Okay, so we're going to create a category for, um, we already created our URL block exceptions for Cisco.com and, and, uh, and Cisco.com both sides, so wildcard.cisco.com. And so now we're going to create our uh, custom decryption. And we're going to put in this, just we're going to have our star dot mode for no dot co dot uk and then oh and then we're just going to put our delimiter at the end and then we're going to have mode for dot co dot uk okay and then we're going to bin that erroneous entry there and so now we've got our our custom decryption list and we've started it off with these these two URLs Got it there, and now we'll see when we go back to URL filtering, as we saw before, uh, within our, our lab URL profile, um, we'll see that it now shows up and it's got uh, site access of none and user credential of none. Well, we're going to leave this now because we want this, so my site fits into, for instance, my site fits into computer and internet info. So we want everything in this now to only be something we decrypt, but actually the rest of it is going to adhere to the the company policy so we don't want to take any action within the URL filtering profile 
So we click OK to leave that as none. And then when we come to our decryption policy, we can now start to write policy specifically for that URL category. So we have a no decrypt policy at the top. Um, these are best practice, uh, no decryption. So for the service and URL categories, uh, financial services, health and medicine, search engines, search engines like Google and things like this have pinned certs, use HSTS, so if you do start to split that, split, uh, split Google, it will stop working. Uh, shopping, again, you're exchanging financial information, streaming media, purely simply because it's, it adds such a massive overhead to to the firewall, um, decrypting everything that's, that's streaming, um, you wouldn't want to do it and I don't really see the point in it and the web-based email for uh, privacy reasons okay so we're going to enable that is it. and then for our decrypt we're going to choose our category which is going to be the custom decryption category uh, and we're going to enable that uh, as well so looking further into this we have the action which is decrypt and no decrypt obviously um, the decryption profile that we're going to use, um, you can have separate decryption profiles or you can do the same decryption profile with the two settings in it. Uh, and then you've got the log setting and whether I'm going to log successful handshake uh, or an unsuccessful. If you log successful handshakes, that is going to exponentially increase the amount of, um, amount of logs that you see. Uh, and then we've got the last here and, and modified and so on. So now we're going to we're going to commit that policy and then when we come back to mode 44 website we should see then that that is um, that is now decrypted okay so that has committed successfully now uh, so we've now got our our rules in place so we're going to go back to our desktop for some reason is running very very slowly now we can see that we've got the connection is in private so we've got the warning at the top we can continue to it which is fine and then we'll just check the certificate and we'll see that the certificate is issued by 172.16.128.1 which is my firewall and, and now that, that traffic is decrypted. And so coming back to the firewall, if we go to the monitor logs and look at the decryption logs. So then we come into the, uh, to the logs, we can look in the decryption logs, we can see that we had, the, uh, we had this traffic here, which is uh, decrypted. Um, all the handshake details we have um, the certificate details and the destination and so on looking into the URL filtering we can also see the same thing so within the URL filtering logs obviously because we didn't because we didn't change the way that the uh, the way that the URL filtering worked it's simply just a, a category and there was no action on it so mode 44 Dakota UK still hits the computer and internet info which is of course is alert so we can see all the um, all the, uh, the the traffic that was destined to it. So we can see our mode 44 .coda UK there. We can click into that, and then we can see um, mode 44 there. Here we can see the flags are that it was uh, it was decrypted and it was client to server traffic. So it was me going out to it. Now as well directly from here, just as to as a as a side note more than anything else. If you do see, um, if, you, if you have a site or anything that you think is, is the wrong category or it's been blocked for some reason, you can go straight to request category, categorization change from there. You can suggest the category that it should be in, give your email, confirm your email and then any comments. And that is usually actually pretty quick. That can be, uh, you can sort of guarantee within two days at the very sort of most I've known so far do that and um, but I have known it as, as, as quick as like 20 minutes um, for it to be recategorized so uh, so that's it so again that's just in the lab quickly that's um, adding URL categories for different purposes other than just URL filtering 
and then just a little tiny bit about decryption as well. So let's say if you've made it to the end of the video, then awesome. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And I'll see you in the next one.